students today we will discuss direct and indirect speech reported speech is also known as direct and indirect speech or narration in indirect speech we convey the speaker message and our own voice but the message can be conveyed in two ways direct speech and indirect speech direct speech is known as reporting the exact words spoken and indirect speech is known as reporting the words now you can answer the question what did he say in two ways by repeating the words spoken direct speech by repeating the words spoken in direct or reported speech direct speech direct speech uh, repeats the quotes the exact words were spoken when we use this direct speech in writing we place the words spoken between quotation marks and there is no change in these words we may be reporting something that's been said now for example a telephone conversation telling someone later or the previous conversation she says what time you will be at home she said what time will you be at home and i said i don't know there is a fly in my soup screamed sign john said there is an elephant outside the window and that is speech reported in direct speech is usually used to talk about the past so we know how to change the tense of the word spoken we use reporting verbs like say tell ask and we may use the word that to introduce the reported words inverted commas are not used she said i saw him in direct speech she said she had seen him in direct speech that may be omitted she told him that she was happy she told him she was happy say and tell you say when there is an indirect ob- object he said that he was tired always use tell when you say who was being spoken to that is with an indirect object he told me that he was tired talk and speak use these verbs to describe the actions of communicating he talked to us she was speaking on the telephone use these verbs with about to refer to what was said he talked to us about his parents direct and indirect speech rules the rule we are sharing the rules to make changes from direct to indirect speech the changes of direct and indirect speech depend on some factors like modals reporting verb place time tense pronoun etc you can check the complete information of change in direct and indirect speech can is uh, change into could may change into might has to change into had to had to or would have to should remains same should might remain same could remain same would remain same ought to remain same direct and direct speech exercise for models look to the direct and indirect speech examples with answer using models he said i can cook food he said that he could cook He said we may go to Canada. He said they might go to Canada. She said I must finish the work on time. She said that she had to finish the work on time. Model said remain and change I should might could would ought to. Tanika said I ought to avoid junk food. Tanika said that she ought to avoid junk food. Changes as per reporting word. According to the reporting word changes are made in the direct sentence or the sentence in inverted commas. If the reporting verb is in the past tense then the direct sentence is changed is in the past tense the tense of direct speech remains unchanged when the reporting verb is in the present or future tense if the direct sentence contains the universal truth then it remains unchanged in the direct speech direct and indirect speech exercises for reporting verb following are the direct and indirect speech examples using reporting verb change Naveen said he is young Naveen said he was young Isha says I am pretty. Isha says that she is pretty. Rohan will say I am tall. Rohan will say that he is tall. They said the sun rises in the east. They said the sun rises in the west. Changes as per tense. In the below table it is shown how tense change into indirect speech. Direct speech, indirect speech. Present simple and past simple. Subject plus verb first form. plus object subject plus verb first form plus object present continuous subject is i am subject was was what present perfect into past perfect subject plus has a verb third form subject plus had plus verb third form past simple subject plus verb second form subject plus had plus verb third form past continuous subject was what verb first form plus ing Past perfect continuous tense, subject had been, 
equal to plus ing of t. Which is a subject will share and first um, uh, verb first form, subject, would, verb first form plus object. Future continuous, condition continuous. Subject plus will shall plus be plus verb first form plus ing. Subject plus would be plus verb first form ing object. 